All right, uh, hello everybody, and today we're going to be making a quick Lethal Company scrap model for your game. Uh, I've been working on mine, a uh, monkey type thing, kind of like the Needy Cats mod. Uh, so for this tutorial, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need to have Unity for this, as this is where we're going to be altering the model, the posing, and just kind of handling everything, as this is where Lethal Company was made, which is in Unity. You're going to need the Lethal SDK, so do go to the link in the description, do manual download, and then uh, open up your folder that it gives you. That's not it, but uh, it should give you a assets folder, and you just add it from uh, add. You just click add, and then you add that. I'm going to be cutting all the padding out of this video because I want this to be really quick. So, uh, once you have it set up, go ahead and open up your project. Alright, so once you've got your Unity project open, mine looks a little bit different because of the way I have that thing set up. But there should be like a mods folder, and then like template mods and all that. Uh, inside of that mods folder should be a template mod folder. You're going to copy this template mod folder and you're going to paste it into your mods folder. Okay, so once you have your folder in here, I'm going to remove the uh, crawling chimps. So here's our template mod folder. We are not going to be making any moons, so we're going to delete the moons folder. And uh, if you want me to make a video on that, I can. Uh, go to your template mod asset bank and your mod manifest. Re uh, replace, well, you can leave that the same, but Replace the word template with the name of your mod. So I'm doing Doritos as an example. So, uh, now what you're going to do is we're just going to remove four of these and you should be left with the battery and then remove the two moons because again, we're not doing that. Go to your items, scraps, and delete all four of these. And you're left with just battery. So uh, we're going to delete the battery material and then all of these materials as well, because we do not need them. And then go ahead and drop the 3D model of your asset in here. Here. And then go to your textures and drop in the, uh, I believe, 3D. Just drop in everything you need here. Okay, so go to Lethal Expansion, Scenes, and then Item Placement Test. And uh, go to your platform. Uh, you can see I have already been doing some testing and then i have my monkey so i'm gonna go ahead and uh just hide that so uh you can now drop in your your model in here and uh give it the textures that it needs that'll work and then uh pick which one you think will work best um, do one handed. So we're going to move our Doritos bag, scale it, or whatever you have, and then move it down into the one handed hold axis. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, unpack it and then just uh reset the position and that'll set it directly in the middle of it so uh and there we go we have our doritos bag placed in the hand how we would like it so now what we're going to go ahead and do is go to the battery thing right here and we're going to rename this doritos lowercase um, and then we're going to go drag our battery in here, and you can see it has a, no wait, not that, drag the prefab in.
So what you'll see is that I have corrected the Doritos Bags Collider, given it the Network Object Script, given it the Box Collider with no trigger, tagged as Physics Prop, Layer as Props. I have created the Scan Node and I have sized it up to the to the bag, given it a Box Collider that's the size of the bag, tagged it as Untagged, and layered it as Scan Node. And then with that, we can start actually messing with the settings, which is, in my part, the most fun part of this. Uh, Dor I'm going to call this Doritos Cheesy. Its minimum value can be, like, 15, and then its max volume can be, like, 35. It does not need to be two-handed. It is a one-handed animation. It does not require battery. It is not conductive. It can be, like, one pound. And it's prefab, we need to actually create that, which we can do by just dragging the Doritos bag into here. So now we can go into Doritos, drag that in there, grab a sound effect. Um, you can create your own, I'm not, I haven't figured that whole thing out yet, but we can do shovel reel up. Reel up. And then, uh, Shovel drop, I think is what it is. Shovel swing. Okay, so here's one of the annoying parts, which is setting this whole thing up. So, skip resting rotation. Go into your Doritos bag and grab the X position and go back to your thing and replace offset position here. Do not set this, do not set this, do not set anything else. Just set set these six values and replace them with these six values. Once you're done, it should look something like this. Now move on to variants. You can set this up if you want to, although I'm just doing one Doritos bag, so I do not need to. Uh, use global spawn weight. I like to leave that off. Uh, unless you want to. Uh, I'm just going to set this as global and then max it out. <laughs> and just max it out on every single level just because uh, we're just testing this out. But whenever you're actually going in, you can just go ahead and set that up here as you want. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and just delete these and have it just one experimentation. Uh, set spawn per planet in like 30, so it'll most likely completely take every single slot. And then, uh, yeah, you can make it a, a shovel if you want to, so you can hit people with it, but I don't really see the purpose of doing that with, like, a bag of Cheetos or Doritos. And with that, we have our Doritos bag. So what we need to do now is go back to template mod and rename this folder to be Dorito Cheddar. And then... Go to the mod manifest, Dorito Cheddar, Dorito Cheddar, replace the asset bank with the Doritos mod asset bank, and delete and replace the battery with the Doritos. Now let's let's try this. So go to your lethal SDK at the top and go to asset bundle builder. Then type in assets slash uh, asset bundle. Build bundles, build asset bundles, and that'll go ahead and create your Doritos bag and all the information you're going to need. Okay, now go back to your assets folder, asset bundle, and you now have these five files. So let's go ahead and um show these in Explorer by Explorer by right-clicking the background, show in Explorer. And let's get that folder up here. And now we need to grab our second folder. Now this part of the tutorial is going to be a little bit more confusing. So go ahead and download R2 Modman. You're going to need this. So do the manual download and follow whatever tutorial you need to get to it. 
and then go ahead and pull up your R2 mod man here and create a new profile or grab a existing profile, go to the settings, profile folder, and now what you're going to go ahead and do here is you're going to download a mod. You can download mine as an example. Just do uh, crawl, type in crawl, download crawling chimps, and then uh, go to your profile folder. And so now whenever you go into your profile folder, do Bepinex plugins, and then you have two things, uh, pugger, dgroup, crawling, champs, whatever. Delete uh, the both of these white files. And uh, you can create your own icon for this, although it's not really important as it's not going to show up anywhere. And go into here and go to your asset bundle folder and look for the name of your mod dot lem as well as the name of your mod dot lem dot manifest. And then go ahead and drag both of these into here, which will replace the two things that were originally here. Then go in here to manifest, and you can change this if you want to, although it's not really important. I'm just going to go ahead and rename this to Doritos. And then I'm going to name the folder Doritos. Then go back to the. Uh, Folder, go to mods, and then look for this is gonna get confusing again, but just hold on. Look for the icon here and replace it with replace the name of my folder with Doritos or whatever your name was, and then go up and find uh eh, I think that's actually it actually. Uh, we can change the name to Doritos, and I think that will leave it all good. Uh, that should now set it up to where whenever we join the game, it should load us in with the Doritos mod. You can see it also is only weighing a singular pound, which is a good thing. That means our everything was working right. But again, I don't really want to do the cheap way out of just having one in the ship. Just in case they're not spawning properly, we're going to go in and check it out. And there we have it. There is our Doritos. Um, As you saw, completely in the wild uh, with its appropriate value and name, as well as the fact that we're capable of picking it up, dropping it, picking it up, dropping it, no problem. Had we turned it into a shovel, we would be able to hit with it, and had we made it two-handed, it would take up both of our hands the same way that an engine does. It also gives us the appropriate weight, which is one pound per bag. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope it was informative. Good luck with modding.